Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited. I have Patrick Starr here today, round two. This is my second time doing Patrick's makeup. The first time was on his channel today. Um, he is blessing my channel. <laughs> I did a full matte look for you guys, something that I don't normally do, but I am so obsessed. Um, I use a bunch of um, my products, a bunch of his products, and a bunch of other products. So if you want to see this major matte moment, keep on watching. Do you think we should start uh, off with the I hair? Don't know. Or people are gonna get me confused for Shay Mitchell, girl. Look at me. You sure? This Shay is, Mitchell, nine months. This is me, very, very scary movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think we should start off with the turban. Just so <laughs> you <laughs> had me straighten this whole hair. I straightened it. And he asked me to put it on before oh. we shoot. So let me change it to my turban so you guys right don't back. get me confused. Be right back. We don't want to get confused with Olivia Munn or Shay Mitchell. <laughs> Man, she wants, she has the chips and the drinks coming in. Oh, this is, this is actually for Patrick to start as well. Mm. Is, it, is that a chocolate croissant? Is that, is that a chocolate croissant? <laughs> it is a spinach better wrap. Egg white. Back at it again. This is round two. Now we have Patrick Starr on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna start off with some skin prep. I'm not gonna do too much um, just because you guys have seen all in my last videos, but just because this video is all gonna be about matte makeup and that's so different for me but I wanna show you guys how I like to do matte makeup. I'm gonna go straight into my Patrick Todd Beauty lip balm. I always like to just moisturize the lips prior to any makeup application just because I want the lips to be nice and supple and super plump and gorge. Um, you've, tried, you, you've tried my lip balm and you, you, you like it, right? It's in my kit. It is? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start off by doing Patrick's brows first. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color chocolate. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just fill in the end of Patrick's eyebrows. The last two times that I've been doing his eyebrows, they're a bit more natural, but I want to really extend them out just so they're a bit elongated to really elongate the eyes and it gives him more room for, um, for more eyeshadow work and for more of an elongated like winged liner. Um, so what I'm doing is just like filling in the hair. He has really nice like hair already, but I want to fill in more towards the end of the brow and really just like giving the illusion of ex of a extended eyebrow just because you don't have hair here. Mm -hmm. um, do you normally do do your eyebrows first or do you do, do them after? I'll do them first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when when we get more towards the front, um, I'm gonna draw a line. I, I actually saw Patrick do this the other day. He draws a line underneath just to really like shape where 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 he wants it. And more, more towards the end, he will fill them in. And then right here, he'll make sure that they're super nice and um, like sparse. Is sparse the word? No, just like a gradient look. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a concealer underneath and I'm just gonna start by at, at the arch because this is where most of, I wanna like just like kind of apply most of the product first. And once we get more towards the front, I'll slowly, lightly um, kind of like slide down the concealer, but I don't want too much in front here so the line's not as sharp. I'm just gonna do this just to clean them up, clean up a little bit. I'm using um, a little Kevin Aquan concealer. I, I, I haven't cut eyebrows in so long, but I've just been so inspired lately by um, Patrick's makeup, Nikita's makeup, Ariel's makeup, and I want to try something different for today. Just because you guys have seen all these like natural glowy looks, Today we're gonna be glam and matte. Are you scared? No, I'm just laughing because every time another makeup artist does my makeup, like there are some things that they change about their style. Like I love Patrick Ta's style of makeup, but every time he wants to do my makeup, he's always like, oh, I wanna do your brows like this, like the way that you do it. I'm like, you don't have to do it the way that I do it. That's why I'm like giggling a little bit because I don't want everyone to think that he's doing it because I need my makeup to look the way that she I She wants to make it to look the way exactly no, like it No, <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, so I'm gonna try just a foundation and concealer on the eyelids today just because I want to try that trick that Makeup by Ariel uses. He doesn't like to use a lot of primers. Um, and for your eyes, do, 
do you find that that works or? Yeah, like for so many years I've been using like foundations, primers. I think my main goal, if you guys saw in the beginning, like I have so much hyperpigmentation on my lids and around my eyes, that's just normal. Mm. I remember I was working at MAC one day and this is when I was wearing like boy makeup and I remember a customer was like, oh my God, what eyeshadow it just looks so natural. <laughs> and I was like, um, <laughs> I'm, it's espresso. She's like, it's just so gorgeous <laughs> on you. So I'm using um, a little blender now just to kind of just press, press the foundation into the, into the skin. So I'm trying to press really hard just to really soak the product into the skin. So before I start off with the eyeshadow, I want to start off with um, <gasps> your under eye pads. I love, I love the feeling that, that these under eye pads um, give my skin. I put these on a few times and it's a, it has a really cooling effect and that's like really cool for a under eye pad that, that you don't need to put in the refrigerator. I feel like the putting, putting them in the refrigerator just um, is a little extra help. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a powder on to the eyelids now just to kind of set everything so it makes my, my eyeshadow blending um, a little bit easier. I'm just gonna go in patting motions and just really just setting in so it prevents the foundation from creasing. So the first shade I want to use is the color Soft Serve. This is one of my favorite colors from um, Patrick's One Size Palette and I'm using my Patrick's Eye Beauty eyeshadow blending brush and I'm going to start just right from the outer corner of the eyes working my way to the inner socket. Um, I'm really just kind of like packing on the product. This, this eyeshadow is super pigmented. You want to just kind of place the eyeshadow where you want it before and then you can slowly start blending away and making it diffuse nice and up out towards the end of the brow bone. So I'm still using the same color soft serve so it's really cool that like in the pan it doesn't look that um, that dark but when you like keep layering layering this product you can really get a really nice like like beautiful transition color. I'm really focusing a lot of the color right now just into the inner tear duct because I really want to open up the eyes and really like kind of open up them towards the front and elongate towards them towards the end. Um, I know that, so Patrick like his, likes his, his eyes to go up. I like my eyeshadow to go out. So I'm gonna do like kind of like the in-between today. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna cut the crease by putting a little bit of P. Louise and I'm kind of bringing um, the, the concealer up above where his natural eyelid is just to really just make the eyes a, a bit bigger. Um, and then I'm gonna slowly just blend, blend this into the eyeshadow more towards the end. Gorge, not me doing a cut crease. <laughs> been staring at me all week. <laughs> so before this dries, I just wanna put a little bit of whatever excess eyeshadow is left on my old blending brush and kind of blend this into um, the eyeshadow base just so there isn't a it doesn't give a chance for the eyeshadow to like dry into the other eyeshadow 45 minutes later are we done <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use um, Manila Sands just right into the inner corner. I kinda wanna do a gradient, um, a gradient um, lid. I, I love the color mango, so I, I want to somehow incorporate that. All right, so I'm gonna use mango now just right onto the um, middle part of, wow, that's so pretty. Um, right onto the middle part of the lid. This looks like a little sunset. So now I, was, I want to take a little fluffy brush and just kind of blend the two colors together. I'm taking a little bit more of Manila Sands just because that color is a bit lighter and I want the, the lid to be still like a nice pop and to blend this into mango. Now I'm, I'm gonna take Booked and blend this into mango just so there's no harsh lines. So now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of brownie and add this just like right onto the outer lash line. And I really just wanna kinda of pack on the shadow here. This is really just gonna kinda of like open up the eyes and elongate them 
more towards the end of the eyebrow and create like a really nice um, smoke for my liner. All right, so I'm gonna take off these under eye. Oh my God, wow. Is she, <laughs> is, is she younger or, wow. Wow, is she filled? I honestly feel like it, it like did the blurring underneath mm -hmm. your eyes because you had big pores under there before, girl. <laughs> So what I'm gonna take is a little makeup wipe and I wanna um, clean up where I want to really elongate the eyes. And I like my, my eyeshadow to go out straight. I know that you like to go up. So I like to go a little bit straight just cause I want the eyeliner to be straight out. Next I'm gonna take Inglot's gel liner with an angle brush and really just draw on a straight, beautiful cat eye. The brush I'm using is Bodellium Tools 762. So I just got these. This is Glam Vice's um, Neon Liners. What you, what you wanna do is activate it by putting a little bit of a setting spray. I'm using my Dewy Milk Mist. Um, and a little bit goes a long way, I think. I haven't really used these before, but I wanna draw a little bit of a neon um, line, just like right in the, in the inner corner of the crease. Should we do that or should we do that on the... Whatever you want. I'm scared. Wow! Sickening. A sickening amount of color. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara and lashes off camera. Y'all don't see it, but this big <laughs> like been on my leg <laughs> this whole time. Time for skin. Oh my god, the eyes took so long. But 40 we're Forty hours later. I want to, so, so now it's time for skin. I wanna show you guys Secure the Blur. I actually got to use this product um, before I came out on the market, so I felt really special. Um, I have really like big pores around my nose and like, or, like just like right in my T zone. So he was able to show me um, a before like a side to side, and honestly, it truly worked. And Patrick has really big pores as well. So I'm, I'm sure that you, <laughs> I'm sure that you made this product for yourself, girl. <laughs> I did. This is the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I love it because there's glycerin, which is the magnet part, and then the blurring part is from the microspheres in which hazel that blur the skin and um, smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. And then overall, and most of all, and last but not least, there is a niacinamide that helps um, retexturize skin over time. But Ooh, I want that. Yeah, I kind of like to apply it kind of like when you're face tuning and blurring the skin. Yeah. So just right where you're just putting it. Dot, 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 <laughs> dot. So what I want to do is put a little bit of a color corrector. I'm going to use Dragon Beauty's um, original color just on your um, mustache. <laughs> um, a little bit underneath the eyes. So I'm taking Patrick's one size um, translucent powder and I'm taking a little small brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just set the color corrector so it doesn't blend in with um, my foundation work. So for foundation today, I'm using Krylon. Um, this is what Patrick use, no, uses normally. Um, I'm, we're using shade FS27. And I'm gonna um, do a couple of shades onto the skin. The reason why um, we use cream is because Patrick says that it's because of his skin texture. He feels like cream can really just like melt into his pores, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a full coverage foundation. I'm gonna use a lighter color for like the center. And for those that are watching that are stands of Patrick Ta and his technique, I love 
having more full coverage products because they kind of like are able to be used for concealer as well so you don't have to go as light so sometimes on my lighter days i'll just use way less of this and just blend it out with a beauty blender or a brush and it'll just melt into the skin nicely but what i love about the creams is that they're really um stiff too so they stay in place um, and they wear all day. So for those that have like oily skin or um, stubborn skin, you know, kind of like liquid evaporates on us girls. So it's nice to just go in. We are going ham with the foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing, so um, this like really sets well without, um, in, in my opinion, without powder, but we are gonna do a matte look today. And so what I'm gonna do now is just take a Little blending brush. This is um, a Cosette um, blend blending brush by M Wendy Miyaki, which I'm obsessed with with her work. And I'm just gonna kind of blend all of the colors together. I, I, I went lighter underneath the eyes because that's where I want a lot of brightness. And then I'm just gonna go in like little patting motions there. And then right, right for the rest, we did the darker shade. And wherever we have the color corrector, I'm just going in patting motions just to cover up instead of blending away the color corrector. All right, so now I'm gonna apply a little bit of contour. So I'm using my new contour brush, and this is um, Patrick's Krylon um, foundation. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of cut the cheeks. So I have been watching Drag Race. I'm such a fan now, but I just see how they cut their cheeks. It's so fascinating to me. Like, a lot, a lot of the drag queens, like, will will cup their cheeks. I used to always go down, but now I want to cup. I want to lift the face. And I love this brush because like, I just love going in like little stamping motions and you can just like kind of like blend as you go rather than drawing lines on your face and it creates a really nice, beautiful like gradient effect. But for the chin, I'm gonna just draw right on. So before I um, set the under eyes, I just want to go ahead and pounce over um, the foundation and concealer with my blender, just to make sure that there's no creasing before I go ahead and set and bake the under eyes. So I'm using a little beauty blender. I'm using the pointy side. I always like to put a little bit onto the back of my palm first, just so there's not too much um, there's not too much powder on. I'm using translucent from one size. So I love I love how brightening this translucent powder is and it really just like kind of like sets everything in place. It blurs at at the same time as well. I feel like it just like kind of just powder just like makes all of your pores go away. I don't want to set the whole entire face with this. I just want to set where I um, highlighted. So above the lips, on the chin, underneath the eyes, and then the peak of the forehead. And then with my little Morphe sponge, I'm gonna take this and just put this down the bridge of the nose, just so it's nice and bright. Now that the skin is nice and baked, I wanna powder the rest of the face because I want this, sun, I want this foundation to last all day long. What I wanna do is still now that it's all set, I'm gonna take a little bit more of this translucent powder and just put it on the sides of your nose. Just so it really snatches your nose as well. All right, so now I'm gonna contour with powder. I'm just gonna apply this with this Cosette brush. 
and just apply this just like right into the hollows of the cheekbones. I'm mixing two different shades. I'm putting a little bit just right underneath the chin as well. So after I apply the powder, I always like to go in with my blender and kind of just, again, push everything in so everything just melts into the skin. I love when the powder just is like able to just melt into the foundation so it looks like one with the skin. And then for the nose, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a powder um, contour and apply this just right onto the edges. Okay, and then I'm just gonna wipe underneath this, wipe this powder off. So what I wanna do now is take Patrick's um, little powder puff and put a little bit of powder just like right onto the puff and smile with your mouth closed. I'm gonna actually put this from um, the corner of the ear and right underneath your, like where your cheekbone smiles. By doing this, this is really gonna help like highlight in pictures as well. Now, I'm really just gonna blend this out with a little big brush. So for blush, I'm, I'm gonna be using my major beauty headlines in She's So LA and also Do We Know Her. The reason why I'm mixing two is because I wanna have a really nice, like beautiful coral bronzy blush. And I'm gonna put this just right onto the apples of the cheeks, just because um, Patrick is a bit more oily. I don't wanna use the cream today, I'm just gonna use the powder. I'm gonna put this just like right onto the apples of the cheeks. I'm just going in little patting motions. Wow. So she saw, I know that she saw LA looks like a bronzer, but, mm -hmm. um, it's honestly one of my favorite colors. It goes on like like a little nice, little sun-kissed bronzy coral. But the reason why I'm using the coral too is because I want to tie it in with the eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this translucent powder and just bake right underneath the eyes because I want a little bit more brightness right there. And then I'm gonna do some eyeshadow right underneath. Okay, so now for my favorite part, I'm gonna be using um, my Major Brow Wax in the color clear. I just sprayed a little bit of my Dewy Milk Mist in to activate the product. Um, some of you guys have been using this product without a setting spray, so that's why the product can be very hard. What you wanna do is activate the product and then you just wanna swirl your brush into the um, pan and really coat the brush. And then what I'm gonna do now is just apply this throughout the eyebrows and by doing this this is going to just give me that pushed up feathered brow even though I put them in already I want the front to be as like feathery as possible so this does leave a little white residue at first but it will dry clear so don't be alarmed um, same thing with the other side I'm just gonna brush this throughout the brow hair and then wait for it to dry it's super easy um, if you do have thicker eyebrows um, and you want that laminated look, what, what you can do is apply this to give you that, like, that, that hold and that, um, that thickness. And then if you want even an extra hold, you can apply um, a brow gel on top as well. But this kind of helps shape the brow first, just so that there's, like, that there's, like, there's a grip before applying brow gel. So what I wanna do is just fan and wait, maybe like one to two minutes to let this product dry. For the under eye, I'm gonna take Booked and just glide this along the whole entire um, bottom lash line. So I'm gonna apply Max NC15 NW20 just right into the waterline to open, open up the eyes. I used to do this all the time and now I, for some reason I stopped, but 
I love it. Mm -hmm. I want to spray a little bit of my dewy milk mist now, just to kind of set set the makeup before I do the lips. So for the lips, I'm going to be using Oshi Single Lip Liner. This is a really nice like brownie nude, and I'm going to draw this right. Actually, can you show how you fill them in? Why? Please. He's using this on me because I'm clearly single, so. Come on. I'm hot, so. So what Patrick's doing is he's overdrawing his lips more towards the center, and then when he gets to the perimeter, he stays within the lip line. So I'm, I'm just gonna use um, Oshi Single just to draw in the outer, um, just so the center is nice and light. And then I wanna use Oshi Single Lipstick. I'm just gonna put this just like right in the center of the lips. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of She's Secure. I love that color. Just right in the center. I know, I was so um, happy when you told me that you actually like it. I think I'm wearing it in my next campaign. I am so happy with how this makeup look turned out. You look so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I am so, so, so this is a major matte <laughs> moment. I would love to see you guys recreate this look. This look was so fun for me, so challenging too. This took like a good amount of time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.